All right, guys, we're gonna do another US Cutter MH871 MK2 video. So, the way I set everything up first things first, when you first set up the cutter, make sure your rollers here are adjusted uh, to similar pressure. And the best way to find that is trial and error. That's how I found mine. But then once you find it, make sure that they're similar. So the b best way I do that is by seeing how much of the screw pops out. So, and I try to maintain that on all three rollers. So similar heights on all three rollers. All right. And then here I have the cut speed and cut pressure. Now, with a lot of the vinyl, they actually say you can use a much higher speed. Some people even I've seen use 260, 300. I'm not in a rush. Um, I like to keep my speed on the lower end just because the faster it goes, sometimes it misses like those sharp details and just more chance of messing up. Um, I keep mine at around 120. Depend right now I'm working on a project that is big letters so big lettering so i put it at 120. when i do very small things i keep it at like 50 or 60. uh the cut pressure i was just messing around with it i put it at one at uh 30. so the problem i was having was the needle here they really should do something, US cutter, they should do something where it's like an auto adjust. You just have to put the new blade in or something because the way it is now with the manual adjust, it's so hard to get the right, I can't focus it, but if you can tell that little blur is the needle. So you, it literally has to come out about two millimeters, something very, very small. Um, because what will happen is if you have too much pressure on it to the point where it outlines whatever you do to the back. Oh, here we go. I was testing. I was testing on this. So I was doing tests on this piece of paper. So what happens is when your pressure is too high, you will literally have things like this you can kind of see the outline from the back of the paper that it's a star, right? You can see the outline that it is a star. Sorry about the video. I'm shooting with one hand and working with the other. So you cut it and then on the back, it's an, you see the outline. What happens is when it peels perfect, I mean, you're putting so much pressure that you're cutting the backing paper. So peeling, peeling is a, is a breeze. But where the problem comes in is when you do the transfer tape. So when you do the transfer tape, you start peeling off the backing paper along with the design, which is such a pain in the back. I was gonna curse, but such a pain in the head. It's it's crazy to to deal with. So I was just readjusting mine. Hopefully it's fine. We'll see when I go to uh, do the transfer tape. All right, now, <clears throat> another little tip I like to do is I like to break up my projects into sections. So sometimes I'll throw in the picture and like th try to throw the decal onto the picture. Uh, but you don't have to do that depending on the job. Um, it just gives the, the buyer a better idea of what they're gonna get. Now, these here are the dimensions that I took from the person's truck. So what I do is I do these blocks and I throw the dimensions on there and that's how I get my like ratio for the decal. And this is different parts of the car. I, I usually measure uh, parts of the car off in squares or rectangles, I guess. All right, and th these are door handle like door handles I did. And then what I do is, depending on what roll you have, I throw, I try to fit everything. So I try to play um, Tetris 
or things so I can save on material. Now, what I do before you start playing Tetris is make sure you group everything that you want together. So for example, this is all one piece that I want. I don't want it to move because when I go to install it, I want it to be together. So make sure you group everything you need to group. Same with this, see? Now, this I did on a 30 inch roll. Um, this was my first time doing it with 30 inch roll. Avery, uh, we'll see how it goes once I install it. And this one I'm doing on a 24 inch roll with uh, Oracle. Uh, Oracle is my go-to. I really like it personally. Never had any problems or complaints. Now, you guys are gonna have to excuse me while I set this up. Hold on. What do I put here? Perfect. All right. And I'll do a close up once I have everything settled. All right, so the way I start my setup is I pick a point on the ruler and this time it just so happens to be two and a half. You could pick any point you want, honestly. And I start my straight line there and I only, I clamp down just one of them. Now, what happens is, let me see if I can adjust this to show you. What happens is I will grab the roll, and I'll, sh I'll do another close-up. I'll grab the roll like this and tighten. I'll, I'll pull this over, and then you see, I'm hold this is holding it down here. I'm holding it down with one hand over here, and then I pull this tight. So it's like this. Now, when I do that, I can tell the discrepancy on how uneven it is on one side. Let me bring the camera over. I'm going to clamp it for the time being just so I can work with my other hand. All right. So, this is the discrepancy I mean. So, you see how like it, uneven it is? So, what happens, let's say I just clamped it real nice and easy, like that. And let me just show you what happens to the vinyl. If you scroll, I'm gonna hit the offline so I can move it back and forth. All right, so you see where it's at? Look how it's just gonna mess your design up. It is not gonna move straight at all. So what I do is I'll pull this getting hard to work with one hand. So what I do is, I'll pull this like this. Come here, come here, come here. Can you hold this for me? Hold it for me right here, right there, don't, yeah, perfect, thank you. So what I'll do is unclamp it and it moves, keep, keep the roll tight and then just try to make it even here, try to make that even. Once it's even, or as even as you can get it, hold it down. I just gave myself a paper cut and clamp it. So once it's clamped, you got it clamped. 
let's let's test it out. Right, so it seems to be drifting to the left. Very slowly actually. Actually it's if it's drifting at all. I don't think it's drifting at all. I think I think it's pretty good. That that first drift might have been just how the vinyl's cut, so that first drift might have, might just be a cut type problem. But if you do see it drifting, it's it's easy. If it's drifting, so when you when you go offline and then press the down button, and you're looking here, if it's drifting to this direction, to the left, what you do is you come here, unclamp this. Hold this one. Hold it again. You, un and again, this is if it's drifting left. You unclamp, and then you just slightly move it up like that like just a little bit clamp again and let's see if it look at that it's still drifting slightly but to the right now but you notice the drift is very minuscule so unless you're doing like a design a uh, very long design using the whole roll it's not going to affect you that much now it's drifting to the right a little bit now so what i do is unclamp it again and, and because it's drifting to the right instead of pushing it up i pull it down just a little bit the tiniest difference makes uh, it's exponential so let's see now by god i think we've got it that's pretty to me that's pretty perfect all right, guys, I had made a previous video on this. Um, I'm not much of a YouTuber or editor, but this thing is a pain in the head to deal with. So I thought I'd make one once I found my own way of uh, my own solution to try to help someone else. Um, so this whole video is done through and through. Please let me know what you guys think. If you guys need any, any other help, or any other questions, I can make another video about something. Uh, just let me know down in the comments. Alright. Guys, thank you and good luck.